when two people have been in a romantic relationship and the relationship has ended, it's only natural there'll still be some feelings left behind, whether good or bad. Feelings can be funny. Funny how you find love in the strangest places, but dating your friend's ex could be a big risk, which I think you want to have a rethink before you attempt. Some friends might be cool with you dating their ex, while others would see this as you crossing the line. For whatever reason, you decide and still want to go on with dating your friend's ex, it might be important that you know that this action would impact your friendship. A few men and women do not care how this action impacts their friendship with you, but this has destroyed and ruined relationships and friendships that should have lasted a lifetime. In the end, would this be worth it? Would you be okay with your friend dating your ex? Before you do this, the first question should be, is this worth it at all? You might just be a pawn in the chess game. You might be so excited that you found yourself a husband in your friend's ex, but the dude is just there to get sex. She might be there wanting to date you or jump on this offer because she's been standing on the sidelines seeing all you've been doing for her friends. This is in no way genuine. Five reasons you shouldn't date your friend's ex. One, your friend didn't give you permission. Before you consider dating your friend's ex, you should have a conversation with him or with her. Find out from them if it's okay for you to do this. Except you're one of those people who do not care about the consequences or how this would impact your friendship with this amazing friend of yours. If your friend says they're not okay with you dating their ex, it's best to cut this ex off as this will negatively impact your friendship with them. And at the end, it won't be worth the stress. Two, this could mean jealousy and disloyalty. Why are you this sneaky? You've been there all through the time they were dating. You experienced everything, even the good times and the fights. You were almost just as involved in this relationship or marriage as them. This indirectly means you've been jealous all this while and wishing you were the one in that marriage or that relationship. This is deep and this is disloyalty. Is he the only man available for you to date or is she the only girl out there? This is disgusting and this can impact your relationship with your friend. Three, your friend can't stand the mention of his name or her name. What does this simply tell you? Your friend is still going through the hurt. Your friend is clearly still pained and she assumes that you're also feeling the same pain because you are there in that relationship. Why then would you want to consider dating him or dating her? That's absurd. Is this a fetish for you? Makes no sense. Four, your friend still has feelings for them. You know your friend is still in love with him. You know your friend is not over her ex or her marriage. What kind of friend are you? Are you a true friend? No, you're not. You'll be so unkind for wanting to date this guy. You're a toxic friend and you shouldn't be around her or around him at this time. Five, you could be a pawn or a bragging right. Did you ever think or consider that this guy wants you as a bragging right? He wants to sit and say, oh, I slept with her as well. Or I had a taste of him or I had a taste of her too. You'll be used and dumped. I know you don't care just because you're after his money or you heard sex was good with her. So you want to go have a taste of her too. That's crazy. You're not a true friend. You know it. He probably wants to use you to get to her or vice versa. The fastest way to lose your friend is to date his ex or her ex. It's a breach on your written friendship code of conduct. If your close friend ever dated, had a crush, slept with, married or divorced him or her, that's a no-no. The rule says, hands off. I hope this helps.